What's good, everyone? It's your boy, LC. Welcome to episode six of Heroes and Villains Collectibles, where we're talking all things superhero related, whether it's comic books, Sashow Collectibles, Funko Pops, unboxing, movie and TV show talk. But um, tonight, it's gonna be good. We got Captain America right here, my little helper. We're gonna be bringing you the um, top 10 comic books in 1970s. So, got the top 10 comic books. It's going to be good. Um, been wanting to do this for a while now. So, got everything set up. So, out of the 10 comic books, two of them are not from the 70s. So, um, now you know what? Real quick, before we even get to the comic books. Because I am, I just finished having dinner. And, man, I am stuffed. And I just want to put this to you guys' attention, man. What's the deal with those Popeye's chicken sandwiches. People going crazy, doing all kinds of crazy shit, doing all kinds of crazy stuff, um, you know? So, look, mm. what I have for dinner. I have for dinner right here, look, boom. I'm not gonna say no, no Popeye's chicken review, but it just, come on people, don't be savages, you know? In time, good things will come, you know? So I already have mine for dinner. This is the rest for the family right here. So it's like, come on. You know, that's craziness, craziness. So, but if you haven't had these chicken sandwiches, oh man, you don't know what you're missing. Now I went out there and man, there was a line. I went inside, the lady's talking about one hour. I said, damn. I said, yo, let me get six of them. She said, one hour. I said, damn. I said, all right. So I sat down, put my headphones on, and like about not even five minutes, she called me. I'm like, whoop. I'm like, yeah, here we go. So I was able to eat them nice and hot. So that's just crazy, man. A lot of crazy stuff happening with this Popeye's chicken, man. It's crazy. People kidding them. Yo, somebody got stabbed. Man, it's crazy. It's crazy. But. Come on, don't be savages. Don't be savages. All right? So, all right. Let's get back to the show. All right, this is it. Top 10 uh, 70s comics. This is my top 10. This is not going to be in the order of the wealth or um, the way the comic book is, um, you know, the quality of the comic or none of that. It's my top 10 in my order. So, starting. Yeah. Stungering. It's already raining outside and everything. Starting at number one, I gotta do the granddaddy of comic books. Boom. Action Comics number one. Here we go. The first appearance of Superman. This comic is off the chain. Now, this is not the original one. This is not the original one. The um, original one is in, was printed in 1938. This one was actually printed in um, 1988. So this is 30 years ago. If you look in the bottom right here, you can actually see it says uh, 50 year anniversary. And that was 30 years ago. So that's pretty cool. But this comic book, yes, we will be sending it out. It will get graded. And by graded, what that means is uh, depending on what a comic book's worth, you take it out, get it graded, they give it a grade. Depending on the grade, it's going to be worth a lot more. So... You know, look out for those unboxings. We'll get an unboxing for that once we decide what comic book we'll send out. And if in case you have any suggestions, you watch them through Comic Book of the Day, which make sure you follow us, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Comic Book of the Day. He was a Venice Collectibles. Check it out. So, here we go. So the first one, Superman right here. Action comic, first appearance, granddaddy of all comic books. Now, the reason I put this one out here is because it's an 80s, realistically. So, if I didn't put this comic out here, you know, everybody would be like, yo, that's a 1938. No, it's not. It's 1988 comic book. It's the 50th anniversary. So, it's number one. All right? Boom. Put this one down right here. Now, this one here.
is another one. X-Men, Uncanny X-Men from 1969, number 56. All right, this is the first appearance of the monolith. So this comic book is pretty cool, you know. Um, I also put it on the list because it's 1969. Even though we're doing the 70s, it's the only one I actually have. So I couldn't do a 60s comics because I don't have them. So I just added this into the list as well. So this is pretty cool. Once again, these are comic books. They're going to go ahead. You'll, see, you'll be able to see them on Comic Book of the Day. And then when the time comes, we'll go ahead and get them all graded. You know, depending on which one we choose. You know. But they're pretty cool. I'm sure they'll bring back memories. Me, I'm an 80s kid. So, this is from 69. So, this is number two. Uncanny X-Men. I did eight. I got... I'm mean, that chicken or something in my tooth. Uncanny X-Men 56 for my second. All right. Now here we go. For number three. Putting it out here. The Eternals. Now this is the Eternals uh, number one annual. You can see that right there. Number one Eternals annual. This is from 1977, the first appearance of Tudanak. So, this was pretty cool. So, now we're back in the 70s. All right? 77's comic right here. Once again, I'm 80. I was born in 81. So, this is way before my time. But pretty cool comic. So this is my number three right here. The Eternals um, annual number one. Uh, pretty cool comics. Also, I'll be able to leave a, a link if anything. There's a, uh, you can go online and you can actually read any comic book you want for free. So, like to be honest, there's comics that I, can't, I won't even open up, take out of the bags. But you know what? If I really want to read it, I'll just go on the the website, and I'll be able to read up any comic book I want. So sometimes you just have to do it like that if you don't want to you want to preserve the value of the comic book. So now this one here is the Marvel team up right here. This is my what is it? One, two, three, my number four. One, two, three, four. Yep. Marvel team up number eighty nine. This is a, from nineteen seventy nine. This is Spider-Man and Nightcrawler. This is a pretty cool book right there. So, that one from 1979. So, that was my number six. I think I said it was. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Number four. So... There it is. All right. Now, coming in on number five, we have the Eternals number two. This is the first appearance of a Sentinel. Pretty cool book. I'd be liking the covers of the um, of the of the old style comic books. You know, they're pretty cool. I mean, yes, obviously the ones that that they make now, the modern ones that look good, but sometimes you gotta go back to the classics. You know, they look awesome, you know, the way they used to make them. So, this is the Eternals, but number two. So, this is a pretty cool book right there, back in the days, 25 cents. Man, it's crazy. Now, here we go, here. This is Miss Marvel, number, what am I at? I'm so full, I can't even think. One, two, three, four, five, number six, there we go. Number six, Miss Marvel, number 14. 
So this comic was from 1978. I like that cover. It's a pretty cool cover. You know, you yeah, can get a good, good look at that. Now this one, unfortunately, I won't be sending it to get graded because it has some problems with it. But I will put it in the case and put it for my personal collection, if anything. Because who wouldn't want that? Who would want that comic right there? So it's pretty cool. All right. My number seven. Here we go. Bad Al. The Invincible Iron Man, number 113. <clears throat> this comic book from 1978. Look at that. Pretty cool. See, I like that old style. I was, they had the Iron Man, how Iron Man looked back in the days. You know, it's pretty cool. And so, awesome comic right there. Now, if you're an Iron Man fan, um, there's going to be a lot more Iron Man comic books coming. Like I said, I got, uh, I'm got going to be doing the top 10 of the 80s comic books. I'm going to do a top 10 of the 90s comic books. So, you know, we're going to have fun with it. You know, I'm already having fun right here doing the top 10 70s. So, boom, there we go. Iron Man, number 113. Pretty cool. And this one was from 1978. All right. Now this one right here is the Uncanny X-Men, number 98. <clears throat> and yeah, you know about this comic book. Come on, cat. There we go. All right, there we go. Y'all yeah, know about this comic book right here. Uncanny X-Men number 98. First appearance of a reporter named Clark Kent. Yes, sir. Also, it's the, um, what is it? Uh, Amanda Selton. Also, first appearance, which is the ex of Nightcrawler. So, it's a pretty cool cover right there. And this comic book is from... What is it? 1976. So, there you go. Another first appearance right there. And these comics is official. These comics is official. Stories are real good. Once again, you can go online. I'll put a link in the description, if anything, where you can be able to check out and read whatever comic books you guys want. So, that's pretty cool. I like to go on there and read all kinds of stuff. So... There we go. This was the number <clears throat> number eight. All right, X Men ninety eight. All right. There we go with number nine. Number nine, I have the Eternals number five. Now, unfortunately for this one, you see. Some genius thought it was a good idea to go ahead and circle that with a marker, which that's not good, you know. Doesn't mean it's not worth anything, you know. But um, it's just, once again, sucks when you're doing things like that to the book and just ruining it. That's a shame. But anyways, this one here is the Eternals number five. This has a couple of first appearances of, uh, who was it? Makari, Domo, Thena, Zuras. So, got like about five first appearances in this book alone. So, pretty good. And once again, I like the cover. The cover's cool. Like I said, I like the old style, the way they used to do them back in the days. You know, I just sit back and just watch the different covers for hours. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. All right? Now, last but not least, for the top 10 
70s comic books. Boom. Plastic X-Men versus New X-Men. Number 100. This book right here. Yep. This book's official right here. And it's the, uh, what is it? The first official fastball. So it's when uh, Colossus throws Wolverine like a baseball. So that's pretty good to see. You know, once again, you can go on the link. I'll leave it so you can go ahead and check out. I don't even know the website, um, the top of my head, but just I put comic book link so you can read, and then you just go on there and just check it out. You know, check out any comic book you want. So it's fun to go on there. So yeah, there you go, man. That's my top ten. You know. Top 10 comic books of the 1970s. You know, once again, I'm an 80s baby, so I know a lot more of the 80s and 90s comics, which is coming up. So these are just the only ones I have for the top 10 70s, which is why I had to sneak in two of them in there, which is good, one for the 60s and that Superman one. But um, if you guys like this, let me know. I'm going to do a top 10 comic books of the 80s that was going to be even better. And then I got the top 10 comic books of the 90s. That's going to be cool. And if you guys like those, then I'll do, once again, since I ain't got no 70s no more, I'll do top 10 um, 80s part 2, top 10 80, 90s part 2, and so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? And then we also got Friday. We got the unboxing for the 80th anniversary of Batman. So that's going to be cool. So look out for that. We're going to be dropping that on Friday. Um, also, remember, I got the giveaway. Once we hit those 1,000 subscribers, I got the giveaway for the Funko Pops. The um, I'm going to do the giveaway for the Iron Spider. So be on the lookout. You know what I'm saying? 1,000 subscribers. Let's get that going. Be able to leave your comments. And boom. Thank you, got. That's a good giveaway right there. So I'm happy about that. It's going to be cool. Fun. So... You know, can't complain, can't complain, everything's going good, you know, so I'm glad once again you guys can be here, enjoying this time, checking out the comic books, I just can't wait to bring the comic books to you guys, you know what I'm saying, I want to show you guys the top 10 comics of the 1970s, and once again, let me know, I'm going to do the 80s, I'm going to do the 90s, so that's going to be cool, can't really wait, can't wait to do those, because there's some awesome, awesome, awesome comic books that I got for the 80s and the 90s. So, don't really got no modern comic books. So, just 80s and 90s coming up. And that's what we got. We got the unboxing. We got the unboxing for the Funko Pops uh, coming up as well. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Um, that's about it. You know what I mean? Um, be on the lookout as well. Um, as we get closer and closer to the crisis, on Infinite Earth, you guys are already looking out. You guys are, I'm sure you guys are watching the shows, Flash, Green Arrow, all that good stuff. And get closer, December 10th. Look out, comic book of the day. Here was a village collectibles. Follow us. You know, you're going to have to see what's dropping. You're going to see what's dropping. So it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Can't wait. But, okay. I'm just going to leave it there, man. You know, just want to give you the top 10 comic books. Don't want to make this video too long. I got the itis already. Those chicken sandwiches. <sighs> More than full. You know, you close your, and you have your eyes open the whole time. Everything's cool, you know, and then you close your eyes, and the minute you close your eyes, you're like, oh, yeah, you can't even open them again. So, yeah. So, yeah, man, we're going to do it like that. We're going to leave it there. Had a good time showing you the comic books, showing you the top 10 comic books of the 70s. Uh, just be on the lookout. For the top 10 comic books of the 80s, top 10 of the 90s. I'm thinking of dropping those uh, maybe, I don't know, uh, Saturday, Sunday, you know. Drop comic books Saturday, Sunday, Wednesday. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about that. And then uh, Friday we have the 
uh, unboxing and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So you let me know what you think, you know? So, all right, guys, everybody out there, I had a good time doing this. These are my top 10. Be on the lookout for the next top 10. Coming soon. It's your boy, LC. Peace. Hope you guys have fun watching that video because I have fun making it. So, thank you for watching. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next weekend. Peace.